Flames fans, your 2023-2024 Calgary Great job, Beasley. Thank you, everybody, and thank you to the Calgary Flames. Uh, we got some questions here as well. I believe anyone holding a mic is uh, going to say a few words. No. No, no. Sorry. Never mind. We got questions. We got questions for you. Uh, we're going to start with Bax. Uh, nice little introduction there. Named the 21st captain in franchise history and uh, the first ever European captain of the team. Um, we'll start with you. What's it, uh, what's it mean to be captain? What's it like to have that ovation as you walk out here today? Yeah, that was great. Uh, before I answer that question, I'd like to thank everyone who's here today on behalf of the players. Uh, we're thankful all you guys are here today and uh, really excited to get season going. Thank you. And then, yeah, it means a lot to uh, be the captain. I'm very honored and proud. And uh, yeah, this, like I said before, this is our home. Uh, it feels very special. Uh, to get to stay here and, and keep my career, in, to keep playing here in Calgary. And uh, I'm very excited to get the season started with all my teammates. Um, you know, I think we're going to do something very special this year. So, um, yeah, no, I'm uh, very proud to be the new captain. Thank you, guys. So we do have a few questions uh, that everyone was able to submit ahead of time. And we're not going to be able to get all of them in, but we got a few of them. I just want to pass the microphone over to Elias Lindholm there. We got the first one for you. I know you'll love this. Um, what, kind of, uh, what kind of impact do you, do you expect uh, naming Backlund as captain will have in the locker room? No, it'll be huge. Uh, you know, he, he deserved it. He probably should have had it a couple years ago. And, you know, it's good for the whole, whole franchise. So we're excited. Well said. Rasmus, you got, got the microphone? This one's for you. What does it mean to be part of the leadership group wearing that A on your sweater? Oh, I'm very honored. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big opportunity, and uh, I'm, uh, humble. I'm humbled for it. And um, it's exciting. We have a good leadership group and a good group of guys in here. So um, it's exciting, and uh, we can't wait to start on uh, Wednesday. We're going to continue along with the leadership group. We'll pass the mic over to Chris Tanev there. Uh, with most of your decor returning, uh, what do you think is the strength of uh, your blue line this season? Um, I think we're, we're all mobile, um, move the puck well, and there's eight of us. We're, we're very tight and uh, a close-knit group, so um, I think it's going to be fun. It's tough. Hubie, the next one's for you. Uh, now that you're past your first year in Calgary and got it under your belt. How are you feeling heading into a new season, your second season? Yeah, I feel really good. Um, obviously more comfortable around here and uh, just excited to get going. I think, you know, we had a special team in here, a special group of guys, so just excited to get going in front of you guys on Wednesday. Nice. Uh, Weeks, you want to step up to the front row there? Uh, the unofficial mayor, what does it uh, new arena mean <laughs> now that it's signed off on it will be uh, breaking ground here soon. I think this one is specifically designed for you, Taylor. Do you? Yeah, I mean, since, uh, you know, I'm the one that started this new arena, <laughs> um, I'm obviously looking forward to it. But, um, you know, it's obviously sad for a lot of people here, obviously, to end an era here at the Saddle Dome. But. Um, you know, hopefully they can bring some, you know, some memories over the new arena and we can start our own history at, at the new arena. So it'll be nice and refreshing and, um, you know, I'm looking forward to that new arena being built. Well said. So, uh, Nas, you got the mic over there? Last one down. To... You've been around winning locker rooms. This question for you. Uh, we've been around winning locker rooms. You've won the greatest prize. I'm curious what it's all about in the locker room this season to see you as a resembling a championship room. Oh uh, yeah, I think you know unselfishness has a big, big part uh, to do with that, and we got a lot of unselfish guys here that uh, you know I think can play great together as a team. So um, you know finding that consistency and that chemistry is going to be important, and you know I think we've showed that in flashes so far, and we're just uh, excited to continue that. So, uh, Marky, you want to come to the front row, grab a microphone? You got one? Perfect. Uh, this one's this one's great. Uh, it's from eight-year-old Harvey, and he uh, has a question for you. 
Have you tried to or have you scored a goal in a hockey game as a goalie? I have tried many times and I have failed many times. So <laughs> I'm going to leave the goal scoring to the, the guys here on stage and, uh, you know, try to focus on stopping more pucks. Harvey, good question. Hopefully Harvey's in the building. Uh, Matt Coronado, you got microphone handy there? Right up to the front row. Have you chosen your goal song yet? I think everyone should have one of their own. They want to know what uh, your feeling is your goal song. Um, I haven't thought about it, but I would love if uh, you guys could give me some suggestions. I would love to use one. Uh, <laughs> we'll take your suggestions after. Uh, we got the jerseys at the back here, too, so if you have any suggestions for uh, Matt's goal song, uh, please kindly offer those to him as he makes his way back. Uh, that's all the questions we have, though, for you guys. Appreciate uh, you spending some time with us.